this announcement that has come from the government that you know uh, 20 to 25 crore people um, uh, inoculated by uh, July 2021. Uh, there needs, to, I mean, I'm, I'm sure uh, you, you know you've, you've uh, been at the helm uh, of uh, uh, India's vaccine readiness for the longest time. And I'm sure you're still uh, actively involved, even though now you're in Vellore. But um, can you tell us what is the distribution strategy uh, or what are the possible distribution strategies for the vaccine that the government could be adopting? Because uh, we've heard all kinds of things from sources. That we've, we've obviously heard that they, there is a plan to uh, you know, in, uh, first inoculate the health workers, the the uh, the vulnerable populations um but what about i mean but there's also some you know there's also uh a, 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 a sort of a flip side where where somebody uh where there's an announcement made in the state of bihar that you know all of bihar will get free vaccines the moments the moment it's it's available due to uh, political reasons and in political in election season so what is your view on where the government's distribution uh, vaccine distribution strategy is at present? So possibly one of the advantages in terms of delivery is going to be that we don't need to vaccinate the entire country on one day. The supply of vaccines itself will be limiting. So we will need to have phases in which the vaccine is distributed. The WHO has been preparing a prioritization framework to decide who gets allocated the vaccine first, then who gets it next, so on and so forth. And the COVAX facility, which is part of the access to COVID-19 tools accelerator, which contains COVAX that India has signed up for, has articulated this strategy quite clearly a few months ago. And what we are hearing in the press reflects that, where healthcare workers get the vaccine first because they are putting themselves at greater risk because of their occupation. They are more likely to be infected and they are required to look after patients. So every level of healthcare worker, and then after that, look at the elderly, people with comorbidities. Within COVAX, the idea is that every country that is signed up for COVAX will get about 20% of their population covered with vaccine. The first 3% is the healthcare workers, and the next 70%. 17% is the elderly and people with comorbidities. And then after that, there's a plan for the next 30% and then the final 50%. If that vaccine is available through COVAX or if countries get it on their own. So the government's announcements so far seem to reflect that same prioritization. And it's good to see that. In terms of distribution, we already have the largest vaccination program in the world. And with polio, we have been able to reach all children under five for the, about 15 years, at least twice a year. Now, that's a pretty humongous exercise, but it's important to remember that polio is an oral vaccine. And here we are talking about an injectable vaccine. Right. So even though the delivery and the logistics and the storage for polio will be similar uh, to what is done for an injectable vaccine, in terms of manpower, in terms of facilities, in terms of monitoring safety immediately after giving the vaccine, we will need something that is different from polio to be able to deliver this vaccine in campaign mode. Additionally, we are now reaching a population which is the elderly and healthcare workers. So we have to think about workplace immunization, going to hospitals and immunizing people there. And if it is the elderly, you're going to have to set up vaccination stations and have them come to the vaccine vaccination center. And if they can't come there, then you're going to have to reach the vaccine to them. So this kind of very detailed planning 
called microplanning has been done by the polio program. And now states are doing that as well. In terms of vaccine being free, uh, you know, the state that I'm in, Tamil Nadu, has also promised that everyone will get free vaccine and we don't have an election around the corner. I think uh, the government giving vaccine for free to everybody uh, is what should be done. But maybe one strategy is to say that if you can afford to pay for it, do pay for it, not mandating that if you're, let's say, above poverty line, you do mm -hmm. have to pay for the vaccine. So we'll have to figure that out. And I think the in the first instance, vaccine should be free and given to priority groups. 